Hello! In this video, we'll look at control flow instructions, including branches and jumps. So, so far, all the instructions we've looked at are executed in the sequence of the program. But branches and jumps allow us to uh, control that sequence and uh, change the order that we're executing instructions. There are two types of branches, conditional and unconditional. Uh, conditional branches are known as branch in RISC-V. The unconditional occur, are, are called jump. And there are four flavors of conditional branches. Branch on equal, branch on not equal, branch if less than, or branch if greater than. So all of these conditional branches uh, take two sources, they compare them, and based on their relative values, they may take the branch or not. Uh, the unconditional jump, J, will uh, always take the jump, no matter what. And there's some other flavors of it that are used in function calls that we'll talk about later. So let's start with some conditional branches. Uh, suppose we wanted to do a um, program like this, where first we add immediate S0, get 0 plus 4. So S0 is getting 4. Add immediate S1, get 0 plus 1. So now S1 gets 1. Shift left logical immediate, S1 gets S1 shifted by 2. So 1 shifted left by 2 gets 4. So now S0 and S1 are equal. If we do a branch on equal of S0 and S1 to a label called target, it compares S0 and S1. They're both 4, so they're equal. So the branch is taken, and now we continue running the program here at target and do add S1 gets S1 plus S0, which is 4 plus 4 makes 8. And we don't execute these two instructions. You'll notice target is called a label, and it uh, is followed by a colon to identify it as a label. Uh, it can't be any sort of reserved word. So for instance, it couldn't be the name of an instruction. And we refer to the target in the branch instruction to say where to go to. Here is the same program, but the BEQ has been replaced by a BNE. So now S1 and S2 are both 4 again. Um, and so they're equal. A branch on not equal, therefore, is not taken, and we just continue executing the program. Add I S1 gets S1 plus 4. S1 is 4 plus, sorry, S1 plus 1. Get 4 plus 1 makes 5. Then subtract. S1 gets 5 minus 4 gives us 1. So now S1 is 1. And in our final addition, add S1 gets a 1 plus 4 makes 5. So we get a different result because the branch was not taken instead of taken. Here's an example of an unconditional jump. So if we have an instruction jump to target, that then goes straight down to here to target and skips over these instructions in between. 